Welcome back to another episode of Blue Water Life. We are out here catching bait. The bait is thick, 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 thick. Bunch of nice pilchards filling up the well here. Let's keep throwing. Got him, got him. Come on. Got him on. We just loaded up on some nice pilchers. Let me show you guys these things. Ooh, baby. We got them this time, we got them. Plan is, I am going to hit the reef's edge. We're gonna do some uh, drifting. Hopefully we got a little bit of current. Um, trying to get a mutton snapper, trying to get a kingfish, trying to get a sailfish. I don't really know, we'll see. The fog is still super dense. You can barely see anything, so. We're gonna take our time, get out of Hall Over Inlet, and then uh, we'll see you guys out on the reef. Well, talk about no vision. Good. All right, guys, we're we're like right outside of a wreck. Kind of drifted here, so we're gonna throw some pilcher. I nose hooked them. Uh, we're gonna get these to the bottom. Then we're gonna kind of see which way we're drifting here. We're not, there's not much current, so we may have to move out deeper. So I'm just throwing one down to the bottom first and then. Uh, I'm gonna see how our drift is and then kind of go from there. We're in 140 feet of water. All right. There he goes. There he goes. Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, baby. First drop, baby. Nice run. Nice run here. And then we get to put line number two down. Uh oh. No sharks. Uh oh. No sharks, no sharks. Uh oh. I may have just got shark. Come on. No sharks. Uh, no sharks. The gaff ready. The pilchard straight off the bottom. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, baby. That was a quick shot. Quick shot. Wait's here. Wait's here. Around, baby. <laughs> Got 
Nice thing. Uh, Cuda. That's a Cuda, right? Whew. So we'll take the Barracuda. <laughs> oh. Nice Cuda. Good size. <laughs> hey, not bad for drop number one. Barely even hit the bottom there. There he is. Woo! Look at those teeth. out there Woo. I'll show you guys after but lead him out this is a good size too he's not it's not too big hopefully we'll make some uh, god they stink hopefully we make some nice fried barracuda chunks Woo. all right let's get another line down let's get let's get it going baby it's gonna be a day it's gonna be a day you guys can see his nice, nice teeth on this thing. Yeah, they kind of stink, but they stink. But I heard that they, uh, they actually taste pretty decent. So we're gonna clean this one up and then do some barracuda chunks. All right, so we're out drifting. We are like kind of in between a bunch of wrecks here 155 feet i got four rods out today um i got this is a flat line this is a circle hook it has about a 15 foot 40 pound leader on it i got a bottom bait pilcher they're all pilchards today that's what we cast in it earlier so um i didn't want to stop for anything else uh we got another pilcher this one's on a wire but i have a weight on here and it's probably about 50 feet down um so hopefully it can pick up a king and then this one is another bottom bait uh right here with another pilchard on it looks like it's getting a little tug here so maybe we're gonna get a fish but we got four rods today um we got our drift the drift stock out the little parachute here this kind of keeps it if you can see all the lines we're drifting this way the sock is this way so it's pulling the bow of the boat so that all the lines are kind of flat across so if not, if I didn't have this, the boat, the bow would be turning this way. And then all the lines would shoot off the back of the boat. And then that just makes a bunch of tangles up, tangle ups in a mess. So we're gonna just keep drifting here and wait for the bite. Oh yeah, woo hoo hoo baby, another one on, another one on. It's nothing big, it hasn't pulled that much drag, but something's on here. Just messing with it for a little bit. Nope, it was a kingfish, bit me off. The kings love biting me off. Start putting wire on my damn mutton rods, it's crazy. I put mid bait rods, they don't hit them. They smack the bottom rod. But I'd rather catch mutton snapper than catch uh, kingfish. So if I put wire on them, I'm afraid, especially here, Miami. So many people on the mutton snapper game. You know, if I don't put, uh, if I don't do nice long leaders, Get another one to the bottom. 
Sender! There we go. Fish on. Oh. Whoa. Fish on. Oh. Hit the bottom rod with the wire. Hit the bottom rod with the wire. Whoo. Come on. Oh. No. Oh, 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 I lost. Nope. God. No, I've missed so many fish on the wire. The one finally eats my wire. Damn it. I'll put this bait down and then we're gonna drift for another couple minutes and then we're gonna go reset up here back to kind of where we were, maybe a little bit deeper. Um, we got a lot of king bites. Got bit off, I couldn't even tell you how many freaking times, but that's just how it is sometimes. You put the wire on, you don't catch muttons typically put wire on hopefully you get a kingfish um i lost one at the boat i lost like four on the way up uh some of them they didn't even i didn't even lose them on the because of the wire I, they just popped off you know so that's fishing but good thing we're getting bites hey could be getting no bites so i'll take this any day There it goes. There it is. Something's on. Get them on. Oh. Uh oh. Something's on the other one, too. Woo hoo. Uh oh. Oh no, he just came off. He just popped off. No. 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 How'd I lose the weight too? No. 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 Oh God, there's something on this one too. This one's the wire though. Double header here. He didn't know he's hooked. He didn't know he's hooked. A little head bobs. Uh, he's coming up. He's coming up. This could be a bonita. How did I lose both my weights? Holy goodness gracious, that's a big ass blue runner. Big ass runner. Ah. Throw him back. All right, guys. So we got. We had the bite was early when that fog was was. A bite was early when that fog was out. I mean, I brought. How many kings right to the boat? We got cut off a bunch. I think it was like, I was just dealing with shark problems too. Lost a ton of fish, but we did get that cuda early. Um, I've never done a barracuda catch and cook. So we're gonna do some barracuda, fried barracuda chunks um, when we get home. So uh, we're gonna run on back through all of Rinlet and then we'll see you guys back in the house. We put, uh, we left the barracuda on ice. I like to leave them on ice probably like four or five hours. I don't like to fly them immediately or the meat kind of gets um, a bit like mushy. So it allows it to like harden up a little bit in a good way, like stiffen up. Um, that way it's easier to flay it and you don't lose meat. So we got our nice little barracuda here. Check out the, the teeth. 
teeth are just incredible. Look at these things. I can't even open the mouth. And you can see just the sheer size of those things. So, some chompers. But we're going to flay them down and then take the skin off and then we're going to do some, some barracuda chunks. A knife would help. Just like any other fish, fillet this guy up right there. Their skin's soft. It just stinks and it's very, uh, like stain your deck. So I'm just gonna plane them down the stomach. And then, Run the knife right up the back here. A lot of scales. And the meat on these. You can look, that meat is nice and white. I mean, it's a pretty nice wheat meat right there. Nice and clean. Do the other side here. Same thing, right down the ribs there. There we go, two nice pieces of meat. Stomach is actually empty, there's nothing in there. That was one hungry dude. Hasta la vista, barracuda. See if the pilchies will eat them. On this side. Run this right up the back. Oops. Nasty ass skin. There you go. It's a pretty nice piece of meat right there. All right, so pretty easy to clean up that barracuda. You guys see these? These are some nice freaking pieces. So, so we're gonna we're gonna chunk it up and then get it in the deep fryer. But first, like anything else, I'll take the meat. I like to put it in the fridge, um, and then we're probably gonna cook it up tomorrow. Uh, you know, but when you put it in the fridge and you put it in the bag, it starts getting a little bit um, a little firmer, and it just tastes much better. So I'm gonna get this stuff in a bag, and we'll see you guys tomorrow in the kitchen. So we got our barracuda chunks. We're gonna we're gonna deep fry these things today. Um, so meat's actually looks pretty good. I left it in the, the fridge overnight, and then we're gonna use a little bit of oil, um, and we're gonna do a cornmeal deep fry. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in. Um, 
Put them in flour, then egg, and then a little bit of cornmeal, and then put them right into the hot oil. Probably do a little bit of dipping sauce, um, but these things are gonna, it should be pretty good. I've never eaten barracuda before, so we're gonna see how this stuff tastes, but I've heard it tastes really good. So, um, you know, we will see, but we're gonna do fried barracuda chunks. Fried barracuda chunks. When did I forget to say we're gonna make, you guys, I love cornmeal. Cornmeal, corn muffin, corn muffin. Cornbread, I love me some cornbread. So we're gonna make some cornbread with it. Um, we got the egg and milk all mixed up here. We're gonna get the rest of the ingredients ready and then get the oil heated up and get this thing ready to go. So there you go. Right, so we got our Barracuda here. We're gonna first. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make sure there's no. It's actually pretty white meat. Yeah, it's pretty pretty good. So I'm just gonna make sure there's a little bit of bone there. So we're gonna chunk this thing up. Um, I'm gonna actually do smaller cubes like this because we are gonna deep fry them and make. Barracuda chunks, barracuda cubes, barracuda, barracuda, bar, barracuda chunks. We're going flour first, then into the egg wash, and then into a cornmeal. All I use for this, this is just a, a yellow cornmeal. You can get it at the store, Publix, obviously eggs, uh, and then just an all-purpose flour. And just an all-purpose flour, that works. Um, not too complicated so but I don't really do corn so we're gonna try this as something different we're gonna pull these cubes in here first kind of mix them around go right in the egg wash here this is. and then right in that cornmeal see how this thing kind of looks here there you go. It's a lot thinner than using like regular breading, but try it out. Well, hot damn. All right. We're going to start putting the chunks. We got all of them right here. Put them in the hot oil. Ah! Damn it. Shouldn't have washed the pan before putting oil in it. Oh well. So we're gonna let them cook a couple minutes on each side until they start getting golden brown. And then we're about to put the corn into the oven down there. This is this is quite the corny meal. I mean, didn't realize that everything I was making tonight had to do with corn. To be honest with you, I had a craving for, uh, I had a craving for corn muffins or for, uh, yeah, for corn muffins, and I just figured I'd do the I'd do the barracuda a little different. So let's cook them all up. A couple more minutes here, and then we're gonna flip them. Liberini. There we go. Getting nice and golden brown there. All right. A couple more minutes, and then we're done. Oops. What's that in there? Huh. Voila. We're done. Get these puppies over here. And that was quick. Now, it's just waiting time. The box says 15 to 20 minutes. So, looks like we're waiting another 15 minutes. Come on, when this is done, the next time we look at this, it's gonna be done, and then we're gonna eat the fish. Three, two, one, go. Well, I'm not waiting 12 minutes to eat this barracuda, so we have 10 minutes, 26 seconds left. Let's give one of these a go. We got a little tartar here we're gonna try first. Hmm. I broke that one already. This one's kind of crunchy. Let's do that. Okay. We'll go with this guy. A little tartar. Oh, it's so hot. Ah! 
Okay. Bury the Barracuda. It's really hot, but it's not bad. Tastes like, I need hot sauce, but just like a, it's like a thicker white meat. Like it's almost like a little gamier than like a mahi type meat, but I mean, that's how it looks when it's cooked. I mean, it's kind of like a white meat tuna. It's kind of what it tastes like. I don't know if that makes any sense. But. You know when you cook tuna and the tuna comes out like. Kind of thick. Exactly what it is, but. All right. We're gonna wait for the rest for cornbread. It's done. There we go. Boom. Let's get it out of here. Oh baby, I may have may have overcooked it a little bit, but it's still looking good. Add around to our plate here. Need a little butter. I mean, her whatever you're gonna say, but. This, Ooh. cornbread just makes everything better with a little corn barracuda. Freaking awesome, but I didn't think barracuda would be this good, but it's pretty good. So next time you catch one. I recommend to eat it. So, but thanks so much for watching, guys. More fishing and boating videos on the way. This is Blue Water Life.